Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Joey Biagas and I'm a digital media expert. And today I'm gonna give you some help with iTunes alarm and troubleshooting. Okay, so let's go ahead and hop right into the computer here. And I'm gonna show you a program that is actually called iTunes alarm. So we can type in iTunes alarm into Google here and it will be the first link. Or you can directly uh, type in the address. So let me click on the website. <clears throat> and the address is John narun.com slash iTunes underscore alarm. Okay, so this is actually a third party program, but it works with iTunes and your operating system. So you can use iTunes and your whole entire library um, as an alarm. All right, so let's go ahead and see how that works. So on the website, you can basically download and install. All right, but let's go ahead and focus a little bit more on the actual program, switch over to iTunes alarm here. And this is what the alarm looks like. It tells you the current time. And uh, let's just jump into the settings here because that's what we want to focus on. All right, settings. So if we want to turn on alarm, we just simply check off the box under on. Okay, so that means this alarm is currently on. So we can give it a name if we want to wake up to it. We can call it the wake up alarm. Perfect. We can set the time. If we want to wake up, let's say six hours from now, switch to AM, perfect. If we want it to repeat or just once, and we can give it the time and day, let's say like we don't want to wake up on the weekends and that's fine, perfect. We also have allow snoozing for 10 minutes. I am a big fan of snoozing, so I definitely have that checked off. Uh, I probably snooze about three times, but anyway. Um, if we go down to uh, choice of music. So we can choose playlists that we have already created inside of iTunes here. So if you have created like a sleepy time or a wake up time, I should say a wake up time type of alarm, we can choose accordingly or we can select random or shuffle or loop. Lots of choices here. We also even have a volume slider. So pretty cool stuff. All from there, we just hit save, and that's going to turn on our alarm. All right, so that's basically it on iTunes troubleshooting your alarm, and also I'm giving you a program to use an alarm because iTunes doesn't have its own alarm. There you guys go. If you do have any other questions, please let us know, and thank you for watching.